Okay, good day guys. <coughs> Today I'm going to teach you how to create a DVD video with a menu file. Okay, first of all, you need to have the software called Nero Video. Okay, I will show you from scratch. Okay, you need to either uh, use a trial version or any pirated copy or any uh, Bison copy which you can buy from Nero website. So this is the Nero video. So we'll go to the DVD video here. So this is to create a DVD playable video with menu from the current uh, uh, video format. We have first we use the import here and we import the all the video files that we want. To. Okay, let's say I got four videos here that I want to convert it. So I just open it. Okay, so this is a DVD with maximum of four point seven gigabyte so make sure it's not exceed the space uh, allowed okay so this one you can actually uh, use the arrow key to uh, move it up or move it down to create the sequence that you want okay then you just go to next okay from here you can see it will automatically go to the menu base but if you choose not to have a menu, you can always click this and click do not create a menu. So now we are trying to have the menu. Okay. So there's a few things which you can edit using the customize uh, tab here. Okay, first is the predefined background. You can always change to the background that you wanted, like that. Okay, secondly, you can change this uh, title here. Just delete this purple color um, background just like that. You can always uh, undo it by pressing uh, Control Z to undo. Okay, let's say we do not want this uh, to be here. We just delete it. Okay, next what we will plan to do is um, Okay, we will edit this four video here Okay, you can press the shift button Hold on to the shift button and click the four So you can actually adjust the four at the same time Okay, so the first thing we plan to do is When this four is selected Okay, I repeat, you press the shift button now you hold the shift, you press this four, so it's all selected. Then uh, you can always choose to display just the picture or the title. Okay, so this one uh, you can always click uh, text only or just or the one with the number. Okay. Let's say you want to maintain it with the number and text. Okay, next what we can do is we can do the multi-line enable so we can see the whole uh, wording will appear here. So next is uh, what we can do is we can change the font to let's say a smaller font like that. And we can even change the text color to let's say a darker color or anything yellow like blue like this then we can do the alignment to the left like that okay so now what we try to do is we can position this okay we just press ctrl z to undo okay i want to position this tool slightly higher like that give a space for the balance here okay as you can see here when I click the wording here, I can always change the wording just like that. So I can change the edit the wording just like that. Okay, you do not want the uh, dot WMB to appear because if 
eventually it will change into DVD uh, video format in a VOB format. Okay, then uh, next, what we can do is we can always uh, again shift button, hold on it, and pull this, track this to make it larger. Then we can position all this just like that. Okay, then this one we can actually pull it just like that to make it into two lines instead of uh, four lines. Okay. Then obviously the next thing we can do is to change this uh, button here. We can change the one that we wanted, something like this. Okay, let's say it's too big, we try to create something smaller like that. Okay. Then you can always play around with the, uh, the, the rest of the thing. you can do is you can uh, make this smaller here just like that then we can pull pull this wording down make this longer just like that so the word will be more visible That's about it. So next, once you are happy with it, you just click next and, and that's it. This is the preview before you start to burn it. Okay, so when you press next, you have to put in your DVD to the, uh, this is the driver that you have in your desktop or laptop. Okay, this one video mode is NTSC, so you have to, uh, you have to decide whether you want to burn it into the power setting or NTSC so you can choose the driver that you want and you can always change the name for your DVD okay so once you press the burn so now I insert one of the DVD inside my DVD writer Okay, now I press the burn button, you can see we will actually start the process of uh, burning so once everything done should be take, should take about uh, one hour like that then you will you can see the DVD video uh, done okay that's about it so if you want to see more in my next video, I will show you how to add in files to the current DVD video that you created. So it's a become a hybrid files where you can view a DVD video as well as see other files like PDF, images, words or PowerPoint inside the DVD e video itself in a one same uh, DVD. Okay, just look out for my next video and thank you guys for watching.